The most important thing in determining your candidacy for active surveillance with delayed intervention is to accurately classify your risk group. There are four risk groups for prostate cancer. Very low risk, low risk, intermediate risk, and high risk. Very low risk is defined by a prostate gland that feels normal, a PSA that's less than 10, a PSA density, the ratio of your PSA to your prostate volume of less than 0 0.150, and lastly, Gleason score 6 on biopsy that demonstrates only very low volume monofocal, meaning one spot only, of prostate cancer. Low risk shares all of those same components, but in low risk, it's possible to have higher volume, more multifocal Gleason 6 disease. So again, a PSA of less than 10, Gleason score 6, PSA density of less than 0 0.150, a normal feeling prostate, um, and multifocal cancer, but still Gleason 6. Intermediate risk cancer is a prostate gland that can demonstrate a nodule, a Gleason score of 7, a PSA that can be between 10 and 20. Any one of those three factors will put you into the intermediate risk group. High risk is defined as having two intermediate risk factors. So if you have a PSA of 15 and Gleason score 7, but you have both of those components, then you can be in the high risk even though you don't have any one of the individual high risk factors. And the high risk factors are a PSA greater than 20, a Gleason score that's eight or higher, and a prostate gland that feels diffusely abnormal. Any one of those three things will make you high risk. The best candidates for active surveillance are those in the very low risk group. But patients in the low risk group can also be excellent candidates for active surveillance.